Mam tą pracę. This for Daini. Can you do nothing right? How will we escape now? Just have to. Oh, can I. Can I help you, Walker? Oh, this one was just. Ugh, I will not fib. Daini meant to rob this caravan. Do not judge. I swear on the moons I did not. This was an accident. Even if it was not, those muscarses were slavers, killers, and worse. Dull with the terror birds. Yes, Daini set them on the caravanners, only to scare them, but the birds gobbled the guards up. Bad luck for them and for Daini. The goods I meant to steal are ruined. Daini can fix this. I just... I really need help. You will help, yes? Thank you, Walker. If we can find something valuable in the wreckage, Daini can use it to pay for her passage out of Southgard. I know how this looks. But I swear my brother Safik and I only want to escape this place and the Jeeks who ruined it. Bah! What else is there to know? Nothing but clawless brutes, all of them! Sorry, Daini has lived under the heel of these muscarses, and muscarses like them all her life. I did not mean for them to die, but I cannot shed a tear at their passing. No. The cat they serve, though? Daini knows him all too well, but he is not worth talking about. Someone in my position does not have the luxury of vendettas. This one needs wealth to leave Southgard. It is as simple as that. Is it not obvious? Ever since the flu, Southgard stinks of ash and bloodshed. No artisans ply their trade here. No merchants sell their wares. Only skooma dealers and slavers and cutthroats remain. We cannot live this way anymore. I... We live hand to mouth here, Walker. In Southgard, you learn to steal or you starve. It is that simple. Daini does what she has to to keep us afloat, but Safik has a gentle heart. He still has a chance to do something good with his life. This one secured the passage on a Nord merchant ship bound for Mistro. Plenty of opportunities there for people like my brother and me. I owe the ship's captain, Sormund, just a few drakes more. Soon, we will turn our backs on this place for good. Impressive, yes? An old trick that Daini's father taught her. Set the campfire and fan the smoke toward the herd. They think a blaze approaches and run the opposite direction. Not much left to burn here nowadays, but it still works. New here, eh? You ask what happened? The scorch happened. At the height of the Nahatan flu, the Khajiit went mad trying to halt the spread. Frantic cats set fire to houses, towns, whole cities to try to burn out the sickness. It did not work. <laughs> that is what we are meant to believe. One great blaze to purge the flu from Southgard. In truth, there were two fires. One meant to deal with the sickness, and another meant to kill. A story for another time, I think.
was Turo's caravan? Daini, he'll kill us all for this. Calm down, Antonia. Just come back to the house, yes? Daini will explain everything. I need to... Maybe he'll go easy if I tell him what happened. Get away from me! Ah, you are back. And with all your limbs. Good, good. What did you find in the wreckage? Please tell Daini you found something more than splintered crates and giant murdered chickens. Ah, shattered bottles and ruined silks would not earn us a berth on a dinghy, let alone a seafaring vessel. And now Antonia goes to sell our pelts to Turo. Kra! Daini will think of something. She has to. A short, snouted arsonist with a heart as black as those scorched trees. He controls all of Southgard. He... It does not matter. Daini has a shelter south of here. My brother is there. Can you check on him? Daini will follow soon. Of course, Walker. Daini owes you a few answers at least. A friend. Well, Daini uses that word loosely. An acquaintance, really. She fixed herself to me like a barnacle some years back, eating much but providing little, you see? When I resolved to leave Southgard, she insisted on coming along. Now she sells us out to save her own hide. Typical. In her heart, Daini always knew Antonia would get cold paws and call off before long. This one just hoped a little skiver would do it quietly. Oh yes, Antonia lies often, but never about something like this. She is a survivor, always has been, like a Reminite Ali Roach, for now anyway. Mara, help her. Turo does not respond well to bad news. The people who deliver it, more often than not, it is the last message they ever deliver. He will come for us soon after. We must move quicker. He is not worth talking about. Daini hates him, and will continue to hate him until the day she dies. All you need to know is that he is both evil and wealthy. This one will take that wealth away from him. Daini has nothing else to say on this subject. The Black Sap Rebellion is all but gone. I heard the Vine Dusk Rangers used a oh, man. Greetings, down. Walker. Apologies, but have we met before? Yes, this one is Safik. Daini sent you, eh? If she sent you to check on me, we must be in danger. Let this one guess. She tried to rob Turo and made a mess of it. Daini, why can you not just... <sighs> Safik's sister is wise and prudent in all things except this business with Turo. You must understand. He hurt us deeply. She refuses to let it go, even as we try to escape this place. Is she coming soon? Safik! Galaneth! Ah, there you are. And Sormund remains? Good. Not for much longer, Tiny. I leave with the tide, with or without you. You found the place? And Safik as well? Good. Let this one guess. Sormund blusters like a Palmar squall. Pay him no mind. He is like a harbor month, yes? Bark, bark, bark. But no teeth. Now, we have work to do. That is, if you still mean to help. 
Safik. Daini loves him dearly, but he lacks a thief's edge. He sees mortal risk in loose cobblestones and all the rusty nails. We needn't worry. This one found a new target. Turo owns a warehouse to the east, packed with trade goods and treasures. Who else should Daini rob? Turo owns South Guard. Safik told you this was personal, didn't he? Mons. I will say it one last time. Daini does not care about Turo. She wants his treasures, nothing more. Now, are you in? Many guards patrol Puro's warehouse, Walker. Make sure you are ready, yes? It belonged to Daini's father. Before Turo. This one's father said Old Moon Priest used to conduct rituals in there. Back before all the old temples started falling down. Some folk think turning an old temple into a warehouse is blasphemy. It never bothered Papa. He said storing goods in a sacred place kept the ghost out. Daini does not know why ghosts would try to get into boxes of sugar cane. Just silly, you know? Papa used to say silly things like that all the time. More than sugar cane, I can tell you that. This place might have kept the ghosts out, but they will not thwart us, Walker. We will take what's ours. What are you up to now, Tiny? What do you ask, Sword Moon? Yeah. Don't worry. We'll have your voice. Tiny is here. Quick, let us discuss strategy. So, this is Toro's warehouse, such as it is. Formerly my father's warehouse. Coming back, it brings me no joy. I used to play here, darting between the crates, hiding in barrels. Then Papa died. Ironic that we robbed his grave, yes? Yes, burned alive. Fires raged across South Guard at the time, to deal with the flu, yes? Turo used this. He and his thugs pushed their competitors, Khajiit like my father into this warehouse and set it ablaze, to make it look like an accident. Yes, but this is in the past. Daini must see to the present. Turo marks his personal goods with a crude seal to ward off idiots who might be tempted to scheme off the top. Search the marked crates, and we should find something valuable. This one could use Rats the target so practice. Sure, they carry diseases, but hmm. who here doesn't? Stolen pottery. Too cumbersome. Let us keep looking, yes? <sighs> Books? Daini doubts Toro even knows how to read. Hmm. No rare titles. Leave them. Papa always kept the most valuable goods down there. Let's have a look. Cats and their sugar. <laughs> More crates. Hurry and check them, Walker. I thought I heard someone approaching. Shh! Someone is coming! Quickly! So, Daini and her dog-tailed brother tried to steal from me, eh? Truly, I should have burned those two with their father. Easily remedied, though. Thank you, Antonia. Oh, you're welcome, Turo. Anything for you. 
Of course, you did work with her, so... You see my dilemma. Business is business, Antonia. You understand, I'm sure. What? No, no, no! Blessed Mara, we're out of time. He's going to kill Safik. We have to get back, now! Brother, Malabu, Galanet, and Sormund also. Puro took them. No, Puro left a note telling Daini to turn herself in. He holds Safik prisoner in his fortress and will kill him if she refuses. Mara's heart, we were so close. Stupid, reckless. This is all Daini's fault. No, no, it is Turo's fault. It isn't. It isn't. This one just needs... <sighs> Toro has all the gold and... He murdered my father! Burned him like kindling wood! And now he steals my friends! Tiny will make him pay! She will rake his eyes out and feed what remains to the dogs! She will... <sighs> no. No. This has gone on long enough. Safik is all that matters. Daini will turn herself in to keep Turo distracted. While he gloats and blusters, you must find and free the others. Start at his harbor safe house. It lies south of here, along the coast. Meet me in his fortress as soon as you can. Moons guide you. Sormund, eh? Do your worst, you flea-bitten bastards! We'll turn Kine's backside. Oh. Backside, am I glad to see you? They didn't get you or Daini, did they? Die. It'll take a lot more than this to knock the wind out of Sormon's sails. Uh, I'll be all right. That cub, though, Safik, he's not suited for this kind of treatment. I'm, I'm worried about him. The others as well. Uh, there, I said it. No, but I can guess. Turo may act the part, but he's not a romantic. He's an opportunist. He won't kill those scallywags if he thinks he can profit off them. Check the caves near the Dream Drowner, his slave ship. Any luck, you'll find them there. <sighs> off with you now. You cleared the way. I'll make it out of here just fine. Oh, don't think old Sormon's gone soft. I'm in this for the gold, pure and simple. Of course, these cats clearly need help. 
If I can do good while doing well, so much the better. Now listen. You better not say anything to my crew about this. I'll get the boat ready to leave. Meet me there when you find them. Anybody up for a game of dice? Walker, over here! Malabu is here! Ah, uh, Walker, thank the moons! You will never believe what horrible things these slavers said they will do to poor Malabu! You are a true friend, Walker. A true friend. Now, you will help this one escape, yes? She cursed and spat like a wild beast. This one told her to stop, but she would not listen. They took her to Turo's slave ship. Southeast of here, through the cave. The ship only stays in port a short while. You must hurry. But first, let me out. A thousand thanks to you, Walker. Malabu only hopes that Daini and Safik still live. Be careful. Daini's friend, but no Daini. She all right? If raised bones, if that Skeever Toro did anything to her, so help me. Get me out of here and we'll find her together. Bah. Nobody ever lets me help. Fine, fine. But if anything happens to Daini or Safik, there's no power in Tamriel that'll keep Toro safe from me. Mark me! Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Give those bastards the business, all right? Especially Toro. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't want rats in your pockets, don't keep yeah. lots of cheese in there. What is it?
sing us a tune. Too damn I'll quiet tell around you here. When I've had enough to drink. There's a hurricane bearing down on us. Make sure everything's tied down, eh? Uninvited guests. Well, I can always use more slaves. down and get this door open. We can use Toro's boat to escape. Oh dear, oh dear. What will we do now? You came for us. Truly, Walker. Daini did not think she would see another sunrise. Did you slip past Toro, or... Daini would be lying if she said she was not glad to hear it. But then, this one's thirst for vengeance very nearly got us killed. Enough of that. We should go before Turo's thugs find us. Into the boat, yes? Quickly, get the gate open while this one frees her brother. Let's get out of here. What a nightmare. I...
Well, that was an adventure of sorts. Thank you, Walker. Truly, we would never have made it out of that place alive without you. Daini managed to stash a handful of Turo's jewels away before the dogs captured her. This one feared that Sormund would demand more, but something softened him a bit. Daini does not ask questions. He agreed to take us aboard. That is enough, yes? Wherever Sormund takes us, yes? After years of waking to the same nightmare, Daini could do with a surprise or two. Speaking of nightmares, thank you for reading Daini of hers. Knowing that Turo lies dead, it lightens the soul. Farewell, Walker. Do you seek a birth on Sword Moon ship too? Ha! No. You are bound for greater things than Dex Wabin and Sail Mending. As for Daini, Dex Wabin and Sail Mending sound like a dream come true. Thank you again, my friend. <laughs> you mean to ask if his business stays above board? This is Pelletine Walker. Every hand is dirty. Do not fear. Sormund makes his gold smuggling. No slaving or piracy. Daini had her feel of violence and evil here in Southgard. It is like this one's father always said. You can take the cat out of the alley, but you cannot take the alley out of the cat. Skirting the law is all this one knows. But you have Daini's word. She may break the law, but she will never do harm. Safik has no idea how to sail a vessel that size, but he will do his best to do his part. They say the surest way to a sailor's heart is through the belly, yes? And no one makes soups like Safik. A wood elf out on the high seas! Ha! I can't wait! Just call me Captain Acorn. Tiny, yes, but unsinkable. Malabu appreciates everything you have done for him, but Malabu cannot swim. We will just hope Sormund's big boat does not sink, yes? We're all done here, right? I'm anxious to put Southgard far behind me. Scenery's great, but the locals stink. <laughs> oh, present company excluded, of course. <laughs> 